I am so excited for this video. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about what is in my Beautylish lucky bag. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so what exactly is this lucky bag that I speak of? So every year, Beautylish, about at the beginning of the year, they have a sale on these lucky bags where it's like a mystery box, so you don't know what you're getting, but you pay a set price, and then you're supposed to get items that are valued way more than what you spend. So they do have two sizes, an XL and then just a regular lucky bag. So I did have early access to purchase the lucky bags this year, and I was totally going to get the XL. I have never gotten a lucky bag before from Beauty Beautylish, but I was determined to get this XL. I was on the site at the time that it went off and why did Siri just go off? Okay. I was on the site at the time that it opened and I was not able to secure an XL lucky bag and I'm really angry about it because I had early access. So like how was that fair? You know? Okay, editors now. I seem like really salty in this video. It's not that deep. I really wasn't that mad. I was mad at the time that it happened, but that was weeks ago. I'm good now. I don't know why I was acting so salty in the video. Like, chill out, Morgan. Chill out. But anyways, I did end up getting the less expensive one, which was $75. So I've totally already looked in what's here, but you know, let's talk about it. So you open it up. It's all nicely wrapped as everything from Beautylish is. I made it not so nice, but the box has this cute little wrapping paper on the inside that I'm tempted to keep. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it says, Lucky Bags are Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own. The sumo wrestlers on this year's Lucky Bags are said to bring good luck and fortune. We hope the surprises inside make your 2019 a little bit more lucky. Let's get in here. Oh my goodness. The first thing that I got is the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Now, I personally love pharmacy products. I think their skincare products are absolutely fantastic. So here's the thing about this cleanser though. This is actually the cleanser that I am currently using. <laughs> so I already have this cleanser. Um, I just started using it literally within the last week. I like it so far. I like pharmacy skincare products in general, but dang it, of course literally the current facial cleanser that I'm using is what they give me in the I don't know though this is like a really nice cleanser though so I think it's really awesome that there is this product in here and it's like something that I'm actually obviously was interested in so yes the pharmacy clean B ultra gentle facial cleanser was the first thing in this box it is very gentle it is very nice on the skin I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I normally don't use the same facial cleanser one time after the other just because my skin gets tired of skin care and I do need to switch it up. I don't know, maybe I'll give this away in a giveaway. We'll see. But this is actually like a really good cleanser. So I also got a Wayne Goss brush. This is the Wayne Goss brush in number 15. Now I love Wayne Goss brushes. I personally don't own any but my mother does and I like kind of steal them from her sometimes just to use them because they're so soft. So now I have my very own little fan brush. I actually have never used a fan brush before. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it but I mean I've always wanted a fan brush in my collection and this is Wayne Goss. This is a high quality brush so I'm really excited about this. In the grand scheme of things I would have preferred a brush that like wasn't a fan brush just because I don't feel the need for a fan brush but I mean Beggars can't be choosers. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I got is the Orbe Mystify Restyling Spray. So Orbe is a really good expensive brand. It says shake and mist on next day hair. Heat style or air dry to redefine your style. I'm a little iffy about this product because I am so very particular about the products I use on my hair. Just because as you can see, I just have this crazy textured hair. Here. Let's uh. I feel like this could be good for just kind of refreshing my curls maybe. I don't know, we will see. It smells really, really nice though, oh my goodness. This sounds like it's a restyling spray, so this might be good for refreshing my curls. I think it added some nice volume to my hair, so, huh. 
I'm interested. We'll see how that works out. The next product that I got, this one is very exciting. This is the Vizzy Art Theory Palette. Now, lately, I have had a huge obsession with the Fizzy Art Shadows. I have both of the Grande palettes and I have a couple others as well. So this one is gorgeous. It's one of the smaller ones. This is the Minx one. And this one is one of my favorites, you guys. I think if you're interested in trying out Vizzy Art, this is the best one you can get. These are the perfect everyday colors. This is the perfect palette to bring on vacation. I'm telling you, when you touch these shadows, they are one of those kind that swatch all the way down your arm. This copper shade in particular is amazing. Now, I'm not going to touch this because I have both of the Grande palettes from Vizzy Art, so I don't feel like I need to add this to my collection as well as one of my friends has this palette. So I've literally touched this specific palette before and played with these colors, but I do want to save this for a giveaway for you guys because I really want you to experience Vizzy Art Shadows because they're quite pricey and this is such a good palette. One of you guys needs to try it, you know? Okay, so this next item is really exciting. You guys are all gonna know what this product is too. It is currently like a pop-in product. This is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder, the Veil Powder. So excited for this. Now, I actually just used it in one of my most recent videos and talked about how I hadn't used it and everybody had it in their favorites, so I wanted to retry it again. And in that video, I fell in love, so I have a backup now. I cannot believe they put this in the lucky bag. This is crazy. Like, this just shows that they're not putting leftover products in these bags because this is selling like hotcakes, I believe. Like, everybody loves this powder. It's a top selling powder right now. This is really awesome, and I believe this is like in the $40 or $50 range right here and I paid $75 for this like same with the like these two already just made it worth it because these two are awesome all right so there was one more thing in my lucky bag and it's very interesting because as you can see it comes in this clear packaging that says coming soon so I believe this isn't sold on Beautylish yet so that's exciting. So this is the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. So I know skincare isn't exactly the most exciting thing to talk about, but it is so important and skincare is like so expensive. I'll have to look up how much this is. And I will include how much all of these products actually cost on the screen as well, but I literally can't get this out. What the heck? But this is a serum formulated with tripeptide to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. And guys, okay, so I know I'm only 22, but all of a sudden I've become really self-conscious about like wrinkles. I don't, I'm just like, I'm at the stage where I'm seriously taking preventative measures so that I have good skin when I'm older and when my skin starts to age. I'm always about moisturizing skincare, wrinkle cream, all of that good stuff. Okay, I literally can't get this out of the box and this is really frustrating me, but I don't want to tear the box apart yet. So this just says apply one drop in the morning and one at night before oils and moisturizers. Let absorb for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, okay, I finally got it. Wow. <gasps> this is such a cute little bottle. Look how cute that is. It's like this glass bottle with a little, I don't remember what this is called. Hmm, I, this has to be expensive. Okay, that's cool. And I guess it's not sold on Beautylish quite yet. That was everything that was in my lucky bag. Like I said, I'm disappointed I didn't get my hands on the XL one. If you did, let me know what was in yours and also how you managed to grab one because I was on the website when it was supposed to... Any, anyways, um... <laughs> So my overall thoughts of this is really cool. Of course, when you get a lucky bag, you're always risking that you either already have the products and you're just not choosing the products. So it might not be something that you want, but honestly, these are really good. And if you can get your hands on them next year, it is a good value. You're getting good things. You're not getting the bottom of the shelf things that can't sell. You're getting legitimate good things. So I think my favorite, of course, was the Hourglass Veil. I cannot believe they added this in the box. The Vizzy Art Theory Palette. Vizzy Art has been my favorite eyeshadow formula of late. And this palette is honestly one of my favorites. So I really want to give this away to somebody who will enjoy it. It. And then also the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is just a really nice brand and it's a really nice cleanser. So I think these are my top three products that I got. But of course, I love Wayne Goss brushes. 
I told you I love Oribe and I don't know this just oops I mean I'm probably the least excited about this but it looks really cool and you never know so anyways that was what was in my Beautylish lucky bag this year I want to know what you got in yours if you picked one up if you were lucky enough to get the XL bag what did you get <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and i hope to see you guys in my next video so make sure you subscribe and like this video and um yeah have a great day guys bye